It has been 36 years since a six-year-old was abducted near his Vallejo home. Four days later, Jeremy Stoner's body was found on Sherman Island. While one man was arrested and put on trial for his murder, new DNA technology now has another man sitting in jail. Thanks for joining us this noon hour. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. Solano County officials announcing today the arrest and now investigation underway into Fred Kane for the murder of Jeremy Stoner. Last week, deputies arrested Kane in his Oregon home. He is currently in the process of being transferred to Solano County. The Solano County District Attorney says Fred Kane was interviewed during the investigation into Stoner's death. She confirmed that Kane did know Stoner. He faces charges of murder with allegations of kidnapping and sodomy. Before Kane's arrest, a different man had been arrested and charged twice for Stoner's murder. Both times a jury was unable to reach a verdict. The fact that there is now a new suspect in their loved one's case has shocked the Stoner family. They're very appreciative. Obviously, it's a big shock. Um, they, uh, they had information that uh, Melton was a suspect and they believed he was. And um, it's a shocking emotional event for the family. Kane has previously been convicted and served jail time for sodomy, rape by threat and burglary.